All right, so we are live doing a dbrand skin install. Let's see if I can pull up how we can view comments. Show live chat message. I guess if, as it pops up, it'll start rolling. I have nobody viewing right now. We're 30 seconds in, that's fine. But if a chat does come up, we'll start talking. So, those of you that watch this later, thank you for checking out this video. This is not, like I said, it's not a sponsored dbrand video. I have had people ask me if I am sponsored by dbrands for some of the stuff I put in the videos. That is a negative. Everything you guys see when it comes to the deed brand stuff has been out of my own pocket. Um, when D brands did have a mess up the one time on our Pixel 2 pre-order of things, that was uh, taken care of. So in our package today, we have two D brand skins here. Obviously, I got light coming in. We're kind of in my living room area, dining room area by my glass door. That's why you guys are seeing some light come in from the side and then what's in front of us because I have my lights set up on the table as well. So, new microfiber. And we have our first skin here is for the um, Samsung Galaxy S9. We got two big D brands rags. I'll use one of those today for sure. Um, they're fine. They can make noise. You'll hear dogs licking bowls in the background, some barking. This D brand skin, oh, it's Cool the arrow. I wonder what that's for. Um, this D brand skin is for my mom's Galaxy S9. She thinks it looks like red leather to her, which I understand, but it's the red dragon. And then if you look at the camera cutout here, I included an arrow for some reason. I'll have to look at that to why they decided to do that, what the purpose of that is for. Um, D brands, as you can see, had switched to doing kind of a cornstarch bag, no more super clear hard plastic. So that's cool. That we'll put aside. Put one of these rags with it, because that will be for my mom's phone when she comes. And like, I probably won't switch hers out for a while. She's happy with her skin she has on her phone right now. And she's gone the minimalist route. She uses just a skin and a bumper. As you guys see here, off to my right, you'll see my V30 here, just sitting, just with screen up. And mine is just the screen protector. And you can hear my dog chowing at bowls there, trying to see if there's anything in it. You can see I just have a screen protector on mine and just my red dragon as well, which my red dragon we are going to take off. And that is one of the questions I had gotten from you guys a lot. Huh. What's he doing? Oh, he sees reflection of the light. Oh, my border collie. He's watching for light reflections. But um, anyway, as one question I've gotten a lot from people is... Does the skin come off easily or does it leave residue? The skin is kind of hard to peel, I'm not going to lie. And as for residue, no, there will be no residue left. Um, they'll just be like my fingerprints, my oils from my hands transferring to the glass from underneath. But as I peel this back, I will show you guys that there is no residue to it. So the skin I had chose is the new, can make it out a little bit there, the new D Brands. Um, black camo is the one I'm going with and you can see how the pattern changes in the light I think that's pretty cool um, another reason why I'm switching to this this is kind of a silky just notice the touch of it the feel it's kind of a silky soft touch to it you can see it's very definitely shiny at certain levels to create that illusion with the camouflage um, reason I went with it because I use a magnetic mount since we have our Qi coil in here for charging and whatnot um, I use a magnetic mount that connects to this, allowing my phone to mount to the dash. And I've noticed that with this skin, my phone would just slide down. So that was a problem. Um, I like the look of it. The skin's held up well. No issues. As you can see, this one fit up pretty much perfect. No problem. Yeah, I'm going to be tossing this skin, but if I ever need to order another one, I will. But yeah, I kind of go through, I generally put a skin on the phone and stick with it until I get tired of it and want to swap to something else. So, just so you guys know. But yeah, this skin we are doing 
the new camo, like I said, and we have the new camo camera cutouts to go with it as well. So I'll pull those aside. And the cutouts, as you can see, they will match perfectly with our camo. So that'll look good. It will replace the black thing that I had done. So that's what it'll look like. But yeah, when it comes to peeling your skin off, um, there shouldn't be any residue. Uh, the 3M adhesive that they use, the 3M films that D Brands cuts their stuff with, is really good. Like, you're going to see that I'm about to struggle just to peel this off, just with my fingernails. As you can see, I kind of cut it right there with a nail. And we will just start peeling. So, if you guys have any comments, please go on ahead and, or questions, go on ahead and ask while I work at this. I'll see if I can view it. I am recording this using my V20, actually, my LG V20. That is how I'm live streaming this right now. So I don't know if I'll be able to see messages if you guys write them. Hopefully I will. But, so you can see this is peeling up. And we'll just peel back nice and slowly. You can see the adhesive separating. And you're not seeing any gunk. No real residue. We'll just peel slowly. Hi, Betty. I see your comment. I have a couple people saying hi. Thank you, Betty, for checking this video out. Um, as you hear my dog in the background knocking against the door, it's because the reflection of the light is bouncing off here and going to my uh, front door. Hi, Miss White. Let's say that. So as you can see, my V30 is silver. So this allows us to see if there is any in adhesive or gunk, but you're not seeing any. So this is how easy it is to peel off these skins. But as you can see, it separates. There's nothing. Name's Jamie. Why do you go by Betty then? Or White. That's what it shows on online. And that is how fast the skin comes off the back. And it's done. So now I've had people ask me, can you reuse your skins? I have not tried. Now, I have had mistakes when peeling off skins or putting skins on where they've been kinked. And generally, you can heat these back up with the blow dryer and smooth them back out. So, I have not tried reapplying skin after it's sat for a while. Um, and then, if you're going to reapply, if you're going to try to save these skins, you'll definitely want to put it on the 3M contact paper that you get. Um, here's another example here. This one is more of a traditional 3M contact paper. You can see here. This one they used is by a different company, obviously. So, but yeah, you'll want to reuse a paper like this because of just the glossiness, the, um, what would it say? I'd say wax or whatever they put on the, they put into the paper that allows your 3M adhesive to stick. We'll keep it sticking to it. Because if we put this on like tape or something, you probably won't be able to peel this off, honestly. But you can see all their fibers and how this stuff is, how this is made, all the adhesive on the backside. But yeah, the skin is held up well. I'm quite pleased with it. I will try to put it on something I know I'm be able to peel off. I'd say probably their cornstarch bag here that they send these in now. We'll put it on here. We'll do part of it, just the lower part first and see. How well that peels. Yeah, that sticks pretty good. It peels off pretty easily. All right, so I'll save this just because, like I said, this skin has done well. Didn't have any issues with it. And we will put this aside. And we'll save that one.
Now let's see if we can reuse it in the future. So, just so you all know, it's, it's here, I have it. Um, a lot of my skins, actually, I have a few extra pieces too. Uh, not only from, let me finish peeling this off. So next up we will take off our black dragon that goes around the camera. And getting these pieces centered and on can be your hardest part if you um, put a, a skin around your camera lenses. I recommend doing it just because a lot of people um, drop their phones with a skin on but nothing protecting the camera lens or they drop naked and your camera lens is generally the first thing to crack and break. So by putting a skin on it we're obviously um, protecting it by lifting the glass off a little bit, the surface. So there's our camera lens skin. Keep that aside. So that's our phone. Now I need to clean it all up, wipe it down before we do install a new skin. But before we do that, like I said, I will show you some of the other skins I have for the V30. Some of these are V22 as well, so I'll tell you right now. Um, a lot of pieces, as you can see. I have a full black mat for the V20. This would have been, or V30, I should say. These ones are V20s. So I do keep extra stuff. Um, V20, top notch, bottom notch. Um, fingerprint sensor skins, which I've never really tried to see if they actually still allow you to read your fingerprint, even with a skin or a sticker on top of it. Uh, that's all those pieces there. What else do I have? That's really about it. I don't have many skins that I've kept for the V30. Just a lot of little pieces here and there for the 20. And then what I keep my skins in is, of course, this D Brands box. So, anyway, let's go ahead and wipe the phone down. And then we'll go over a couple ways to install the skins. Like D Brands actually came out with some videos, newer videos with the newer phones on how to uh, properly install your skin and leave like there's a way where you use part of that paper and leave space going the opposite way of the phone. That way, if you need to shift it at all or adjustment while you're doing your install, that will help. So let me grab some cleaner. Give me one second. <sighs> Alright, so what I'm going to do is I have some glass cleaner here off to the side, as you can see. I'm going to grab a different, another rag. I don't know if I have any other microfibers down here, do we? You got one in your purse. I'll need your fingers for a minute then. Just because I don't want to get two, one microfiber full of, full of, uh, which one do you want to use? Chill, dogs. Chill, chill. All right, so another microfiber. This one we will use for the glass cleaner and the actual D Brands microfiber. We'll keep for the actual wipe down. So I'll put a little glass cleaner on there. If your phone's waterproof, obviously you could just rinse your phone off if you want to, if you want to be that brave. Wipe down the V30 on the back side. Make sure the camera lens area is good. You guys might hear a Subaru running in the background. My neighbor's getting ready to leave. So where I'm at in Colorado right now it is almost an 80 degree day today. So I have some windows open in the house. Got some fans going. Keep the house kind of cool without having to turn on the air conditioning. I see I have lost a few viewers. People are just checking in and out and that's fine. Like I said, if you guys have any questions or comments, Thor, chill out, dude. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. I know some of you are just watching just to see how skin installs go, especially maybe if you haven't done one yet. But yes, feel free to ask if you have any comments, whether it's something about this video or something I've done in the past in another video. So we'll set our phone this way. 
What did you do today, Michael? Uh, today I worked. I have been uh, busy at my main job uh, doing this YouTube stuff, just so you guys know. This is kind of a side thing. This isn't a career for me. I'm not a big YouTube star. Yes, I have over 2,000 subscribers or followers, subs, which is good, but um, this isn't my main, this isn't a main source of income. This is a hobby, and that's how I plan on keeping it. I don't plan on trying to go big or anything. If I make videos that get attention and get people's interest, that's great. Which job did you do today? Uh, my job is working for a school district. I won't say which school district, but those I have some of my students that actually follow me on YouTube, so they know. But um, you know, I work for a school district in Colorado Springs, and I actually run a school site-wise to make sure it stays up to date, nice and clean, everything's functional and working. So that is my main job. Another side job I do actually is auto detailing, so that's something else that keeps me busy. And like I said, doing this. It's kind of a hobby, doing YouTube videos. Uh, a school district on the north end, we'll say that. Just because I don't need everybody trying to hunt me down. For anything. I don't mind if people notice me in public, that's fine. That would be cool. I mean, I have kids that notice me. But, um, like I said, from my school. Besides that. All right, so phone is nice and clean, as you can see. I'm trying to not angle this the other way so my dog doesn't go nuts. But everything cleaned off good. So next, we will take our skin. Um, one way that Dbrands recommends when you do your skin install is to take, if you have a fingerprint sensor on the rear or even just your camera sensor and your uh, lights or LEDs or other sensors, you do just that half first. So we're going to take the whole skin and we're going to shift it up. That way we just have our fingerprint sensor lined up. And that will be the first piece we will install is this top section. And make sure it's all squared off and looks good. Now I will come around, depending on how you guys hear me audio-wise right now, I'm going to kind of come in front of the camera so I can take a good close look at this. So we'll grab, try not stretching anything. Do I have subs at my school? I have subscribers at my school, if that's what you mean. Okay, so as we can see, it is lined up. Ready to go. That's the back side, front side. All right, so I'm not going to be able to see what you guys write next for a couple seconds just because, like I said, I'm going to come around and get this skin centered on the phone. Do my best to center this where I can see it. Alright, so to me, I have the top section done. I'm going to press in the middle a little bit. To me, that looks pretty well lined up for going around our light sensors, camera ring, the fingerprint sensor looks good. It might be off by a hair, so I'm going to lift it up.
so I believe I was able to recenter that. Well, my fingerprint sensor looks better. Come back just a little bit. There we go. Alright, so to me, of a substitute teacher or some sometime at your school. Um, so for me, for substitutes, if I take a day off in my position running a school as a building manager, um, I can have a substitute if I'm sick. But if I'm just taking a vacation day, no. So at my district, there are no subs unless I am sick. If it's like a a personal day, yes. But if it's a vacation day, no. All right, so back to our skin here. Everything looks good around the cutout. Now the spot we need to pay attention to is up here at the top, making sure this is nice and straight. And we'll just push down lightly, making sure no color is exposed, excess silver is exposed sides. Nope, all that seems good. So we are good to put the rest of it down. Just in, like what I was saying earlier, D Brands recommends there's another method of where when you put the skin on towards the bottom, making sure it's still staying straight, you're, we're actually gonna take our white piece here, our film, our paper, or tack paper, or contact paper, and we're going to take it off and go the opposite way with it. But as I do that too, I'm gonna wipe down the glass on the backside just to make sure all is nice and clean. So this method right here that I had just done would be how a P.O. box, I do not have a P.O. box, so I'm not giving out any of that type of information for people to send things to me. Um, if you guys want to contact me to send, so to send something to me, I do have a um, link in my email on my main page of YouTube. If you guys want to contact me, there is an email address. You can contact me there on through and we can talk about arrangement of products and whatnot. I do get offered products here and there. Um, I don't get offered super high-end stuff. Um, as you guys can see here in the background, I do have this D Brands box. This was for my wife's Pixel 2 XL. This was her grip case that came in. And the reason why I have this is because of, um, we pre-ordered and got on the Indiegogo when that case came out. Now, a fact that I talked about in other videos, I have talked with D Brands, and I had talked to them through email about making a bumper grip case for the LG V30 here. Excuse me for a second. Thor. Hey. Really, dude? Thor, come here. Chill out. It's okay. All right. Anyway, I had talked with D Brands about them making a grip case. For the moment, they are going to stick with their 20 devices that they had set up for the Indiegogo. They're going to get their fulfillments done, get the cases out to the masses after all the Indiegogo backers have been fulfilled and taken care of. Um, I had gotten mine a while ago. If you guys hadn't seen that video, go check it out. It is on my uh, in my video archive, I should say. But anyway, back to this. We'll make sure this looks lined up. So... It looks like everything will line up just fine. So what we'll do is we'll peel this back a little, take this out, and just slide the skin forward. Now the reason why I don't like just lift that off is because I don't want anything in the air getting on to that skin and then transferring to the phone. So that's one reason I don't do it that way. Now really with this skin, there's really not much else I need to do on the back side besides just um, heating it up and making sure everything fits in place. So I'm just pressing, rubbing everything into the corners, and that's how it looks so far. So if we see any excess silver, I don't. This D Brands does cut their stuff pretty much perf perfectly. The only time you'll see excess silver is if there's an install error. So that all looks pretty good.
All right, so next I'm going to use the blow dryer. We're going to heat this up, make sure everything stays in place, everything's heated out, no rough edges, nothing that's going to lift. And then we will do our um, debate. And should we do, in the comments, go on ahead and write, do you guys think we should do camo or should I do the old matte black? Let me see if I have one. I know I have one in here. Bags within bags of stuff here. I want to get it out so I can show you. There we go. What time do I go to my school? So my school, I run and manage. I have to be there at 6 a.m. That's when I start my day. You're saying nothing? Don't do anything around the camera. So, like I said, either matte black like this, or should we do camo to match? Um, I do black. You think just black? So my wife thinks just solid black. Do nothing? Nah, I don't like the silver sticking out, and I worry about glass. That is the biggest thing. Like, I don't know if you guys look up on YouTube when you have time. Look up um, broken um, Galaxy S6 or Galaxy S whatever galaxies or any phone. Just punch in any phone that would have a camera on the back. Broken uh, camera glass. And you will find a lot of people have jacked these up. Whether it's just a small crack going through it from a drop or people had actually dropped this on an asphalt or cement that had rocks on it and it would just shatter it and then your camera module won't work anymore the thing to remember too is a lot of these cameras that have ois in them optical image stabilization they will uh, those components inside that are supposed to move and keep everything stable they won't work anymore once they get stuff stuck in there so for me i'd rather be safe than sorry and actually have a skin to help protect that glass from shattering So just do, I'll do black. I think the black would be better than doing the camo with it. It would stand out a little bit. So executive decision, black. All right, so now we will clean this off. And like I said, then we'll heat this up. No, I'm going with a backing on it. I'm going, I want to protect it. Not going just like that. So I kind of cheat because the hardest part of getting these um, these on for the cameras is being able to center it exactly. So I use, as you can see, I use part of the um, paper that it comes on. And there we go. And that one is on. Flip it around that we can see this side. And it's off just a, hair, a little bit. Try to fix that. Chill, Thor. That is my one of my dogs. Mm. All right, so that is fixed. I was able to push it down because I hadn't like heated this up yet and caused the adhesive to stick to its max. You can still shift these um, these vinyls around that would go on your camera sensor just a little bit, so it looks 
still see our silver going around. It's all even. So that's good. All right, now to heat it all up. And then for heating, I'm using just a blow dryer. We're just gonna use low setting and we're gonna put it to warm. We're not gonna do hot. So just warm. And that'll help all this bend into place and heat up. I'll do this. I'll do this behind the camera just so you guys don't get all that air noise. So that is done, heated up and finished. So our top side here, everything looks aligned, no problem. Sides look good, no issues there. The bottom kind of looks, to me, it looks a little, it might not be short, it might be right on. It looks a little short, off just a hair. And this side's good, nothing's hanging over. And then our other spine. So that's about it. So thank you guys for the one thumbs up that I had gotten. Appreciate that. And this has gone for about 30 minutes. I was hoping to have more people in the chat, more people watching this, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. So I obviously smeared my glass, so I'll wipe it again. It's time to do a little spray itself on the glass. And we have a clean front and a nice looking back. But thank you all for checking out the video. Thank you for the thumbs up. It's two thumbs up and it's good. If we had that third and fourth person watching this earlier, it would have been a few more thumbs up as well. But at least I got a few viewers, so that's cool. I'm grateful for that. All right, and that is a nice clean front and our back. So if you have any comments or questions, uh, you can leave them afterwards as well uh, because I will be putting this video up. It's going to stay up on my feed. But that is our look at the D-Brands uh, black camo. And that was it for now. Um, the next one we'll probably do will be, hope to do, my wife's Pixel 2 XL. And we will swap out to some other skins. She actually has quite a few, honestly. And I think I showed it in that video before, but I'll show you guys one more time and then we'll cut this video. We'll be done. So we have all our coloring for the G logos. The red, blue, green, and yellow. And under that we have just one back skin and under there we have a concrete another white marble which that might be kind of hard to make out there and then a full wraparound skin for the pixel 2 xl along with a matte black that's just a backing full wrap around and marble as well. Another red dragon. And these camera pieces, this one's mine. 
that goes in my set. And this would be the front for the V30 if we were to use that, which I'm not personally use the front skins because I have that big piece of glass. So, and then of course, like I showed earlier, we have this one for the Pixel 2 XL. Oh, I'm missing a piece. No one go. There it is. So for the 2XL with the red dragon, we have the black dragon top as well. That will probably be the next one we do. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed checking this out. Thank you to my two viewers. Thank you for the thumbs up again. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great night.